goodness. Look at this. A picture of all the boys pre-beard. In the cookbook? All the brothers. Well, you know, I always use the pictures to mark my cookbook. Look at their shiny faces. I love the beard now, though. Oh, I would not want Jeff to shave it. I wish it would just go away and never come back. Most people with beards actually trim. Barberton men just let it all grow. You have not grown used to it yet? Used to it and liking it are two different things. <laughs> That's all right. We love him. If Bill lost his beard, I'd think I was committing adultery because it wouldn't be my <laughs> husband. Hey. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? So what are you, are you looking through cookbooks? What do you think to cook here? Turkey something. Mm -hmm. You can't give us any pointers because you're the judge. Are we going to get extra points since you sleep with Judge K? <laughs> OK. Ooh, they do have a point. That usually is a pretty weighty, weighty thing. OK, that's far enough. Honey on the biscuits. Well, girls, I'm heading to the warehouse here. What's for dinner, Miss Kate? Oh, don't worry. You'll be tasting it later. <laughs> I love the way that woman talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. What do we do now? Hey, nobody's in trouble. Jason and Sire are gone, so I recruited some extra hands. I'm leaving these guys with Phil, the guy who started the whole company. These guys will be cranking out duck calls faster than Sike and say, hey, how y'all coming along? We can do it. Jason hey. Sire, they're turkey Ooh. hunting, so. Yeah, yeah. The last thing I need here is <laughs> shoes. E. No shoes, no socks, no problem. I think that's my cue to leave. All right, hey, I'll get to work, all right? Ooh. All right. Go Dale, Phil, uh, show them the way. Today, I'm going to be here to inspire these men everything I know and everything I remember. Back in the day, when you need to take a leak, I just take one step, pee through one of the cracks, you know? I wouldn't recommend that here. Well, I, think that <laughs> I need to take a leak, but there ain't no cracks in this building. <laughs> I just could pee right out the crack of the building I was in, because they had pretty big cracks in it. I just pee right there, and I go right back to putting duck calls together. I leave y'all for a decade, and the whole thing starts falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed somewhat. Pee out the crack. When I was walking around the warehouse, it was like stepping into a time warp. Computers were in every direction, you know, little girls, chicka, 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 chicka. And they pee, 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 The worst thing was that there way too many doors here. Or you stay cooped up like that, that'd drive you nuts. But I guess maybe I got a little claustrophobia in me. Or some psychiatric cat could lay me back on the couch and explain it to me probably, you know, for a nominal fee, of course. There's a door every 20 feet. You, you walk through 10 doors to go 30 <laughs> yards. Yeah. I tell you what we need, we need an open door policy. Being locked up in a closet all day, I don't care what you're doing, it's a killer. Let's just take the doors down where people can get a little breathing room. Hey, I'm in. Why don't we just get it to a no-door policy? That's what America needs. Now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, now we're working. That's it. Mm -hmm. I feel better already. Here we go. Take it in the shed, Jeff. Huh. Looking better already. Yo, Will. What exactly are we doing here? I started walking through there, and I'm thinking, why, why so many doors? You know, have you ever had a dream where, like, nothing really makes sense, but you still just go with it? It's like, yeah, that just happened. Every 20 feet, there's another door, another door, another door, another door. I mean, it's just so tight. Everybody feels like in a little box. I mean, let's air the sucker out. Hello, Trembling Hills. Yeah, I need to check someone into the retirement home. The open door policy. Yeah, crazy Bible, delusional. He's got it all, all the symptoms. Did y'all get the order done? That was the whole thing today, to get the order done. We'll get it. They're going to get it. So my whole idea about leaving Dad in charge? This the bunch right here. They can do it. Not such a good idea. I need to take a leak, but there ain't no cracks in this building. I'm glad we're not just doing a regular old baked turkey. I know. That would not no, win. That's terrible. Where did you get this recipe? Well, this has been in my family since the pioneer days. They had Duck Commander seasoning in the pioneer days? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but they would have used it if they had it. That's right. I'm sure. That's, it. I'm that's sure. right. This cook-off, we take this extremely serious. And if you don't, then you're going to get snuffed out of the family and out of the cook-off. 
What about the guys? Have we heard anything from them? I looked Wait, out there earlier. Are they here? They've not. No. They're not even started. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, we have this. They're, they have to get penalty points if they're If they're not if they're done like, in time. That's right. The men, they're just sitting out there being leisurely. I'll let them do it. I'm glad we have UK. I know, we're on the winning team. The That's obvious right. advantage. I know what the judge likes. I mean, I've been cooking for him for years. I think that oil's about ready. Put that sucker in there. You gotta prep it, son. Phil's the judge every year. And Kay's been cooking for Phil for 50 years. How you gonna beat him? I got a little surprise this year. Boys, I'm pretty much sure that this will win the competition. There are a few things in this world that frying can't make delicious. I have yet to find one. Cy, si, what are you doing? I'm getting the secret uh, ingredient. What is that? Now. Herb, boys. You got to inject oh it in this. Oh, my gosh. Hey, uh, si, uh, si, you made that? that? Yeah, right. I made that special blend there, son. Hey, right, there's one special ingredient. When it cooks in a turkey, it turns the meat for it. It will just melt in your mouth. What was in there? It smelled like kerosene and sour oh, milk. Oh, you had to have a little touch of kerosene in there. Well, how are you still alive? But I can't tell you what it was because I, then you wouldn't let me use it. It's a secret, you know? Massage I can't believe turkey. you ain't gonna put this in there. This is a competition, so we want to win. Yeah. I don't base my turkey with something that looks like motor oil. That's just a general rule. Well, are you going to keep patting it or are you going to put it in the grease? One more little massage right on the neck. You got to treat a turkey like you would your lady friend. You got to take your time. You got to season it just right. And when she's ready, splatter a bunch of mustard all over and massage her up. You wouldn't put my special injection in there and you're sitting there massaging a turkey's neck. You done lost your mind. Easy it in yeah. there. You got to be careful doing that. All right, that baby's sizzling. Full immersion. That is a turkey baptism, boys. Temperature's right, Tom. It's sort of hard having Dad as a ref. He doesn't even own a watch. As soon as the sun clears that big tree there. That's tough when he's in charge of a timed event. What are we gonna do now, boys? We wait. It looks like all you see is it's bubbling off this thing there, Will. Well, what do you think yours was going to do? I thought hey, it was going to blow up. Would have slowly oozed out and tenderized it and gave it flavor. Gave us a run for a week. I'm like Aretha Franklin. They need to show me a little respect. Then we might win the cook-off. All right, let's see it. Oh, oh that looks good. I'm talking about. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah All right, here comes the gals. They got that big iron punch. I think we got the winner right here, huh? Yes. It looks good. Finally, I think we're going to beat the girls this year. I've already written the first draft of my acceptance speech in my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's just us. What are you screaming for? You want a mic? <laughs> There's no one here but us. It's got to be a big deal. We have two wonderful birds here. Now, the Honorable Judge Phil is going to judge, as always. It's an awkward situation for Phil, because a judge is supposed to be unbiased. Submission number one. But he's married to the chief opponent, so he's put in a quandary, thus the blindfold. He's going back. Uh, he's going second back. Bite. Second, second bite. Second bite. It's unfair to wait. Submission number two. Because they've got the Babe roof of cooks in their camp, all right? That'd be Miss Marsha K. Robertson. Looks like mm. he's enjoying it. That's good. It all comes down to this. All our hopes and dreams are sitting right there behind Phil's bearded palate. Flags, please. Flags, please. This is number one. This is number two. And the winner is... Mm -hmm. Spent. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Mm -hmm. yeah! I've lived with Phil all my life, so if food is the language, I know how to speak it. It was a beauty contest. <laughs> well, we've lost again. We cannot beat the women. I think Cy si snuck that syringe in that turkey somehow. That's the only thing that would make sense. Let's eat. Let's get after it. <laughs> All right.